He does this to spread that message of ability. People like me have talents and I can show all communities uh, what people are capable of. She's not intimidated by anything or anyone. She just does not worry what anyone thinks. My whole life I've really been comfortable with who I am and in my own skin. You're capable of anything you want to be. You just got to go after it. Down syndrome to me is just one little part of who Emmett really is. I'm Kathy Minahan Wilson and I'm Emmett's mom. And I'm Paul Wilson, I'm Emmett's dad. We wanted him to paint because he had difficulty writing. Watching Emmett paint, I mean, we feel proud because it's just fluid poetry and expression. We've always liked, enjoyed giving back. And so we created a not-for-profit, which is called Hair Cares, is, is the vehicle in which we donate. For Emmett to be able to create art and put it out to the world and have it raise money and help other organizations and other people, I feel like it's the thing that, that motivates him to paint more than anything. How does it make you feel that you get to help others through your art? It makes me feel amazing and fantastic. My name is Jeremiah Josie. I'm a pastry chef, a book author, and overall an autism advocate. I first found out that I had autism when I was a preteen. I discovered uh, that baking was more than a hobby uh, when I bake in the kitchen with my grandma and I found out how skillful my abilities were as a, a pastry chef. Baking uh, brought me a lot of confidence and courage that it led me um, to do other things like modeling and uh, being a book author and a motivational speaker. I have uh, helped create a community of young change makers in my uh, town by raising awareness to the autism community. I'm trying to inspire a lot of people in the world and give more uh, encouragement and confidence to those who feel like they can't make it. My name is Sydney Mesher. I work as a professional dancer and model. My parents put me into dance class at a really young age because I had so much energy and they said that I started dancing before I could walk. I feel proud to be here. I feel proud to be in my body. It's just been a journey to see how that body is perceived in this industry. Inclusivity and visibility is really, really important in the entertainment industry. And I think that we just need representation in all sorts of ways, not only with limb differences, but with diversity and a different range of disabilities. Everyone should be able to have a role model that they connect with. So I'm just really excited to keep going out there and presenting this new idea of this amazing body and hopefully that will be just evident throughout the entire industry. It's been a wild ride. It's been quite an adventure and you know that weekend, you know things weren't clicking. I hit a hole funny and my sled started swapping side to side and it pitched me off to the left side. Feet impact the ground and my left knee buckles 180 degrees. It's unbearable pain. Of, of course, I didn't want them to amputate my leg, but I understood it was gonna save my life. This Moto Knee project, I built it for myself to get myself back into action, but I realized that there's a need for this kind of stuff that I was working on, and I'm like, well, maybe I could develop this Moto Knee into a production piece and start a company around it. Having something work for myself so I can achieve my goals is one thing, but being able to create something to help other people get back into action, doing something that they thought they couldn't do, I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty special. There's no other way that Chelsea knows besides totally being herself. The thing that I really love about what she's doing now and the fact that we have social media now is it gives so many parents with kids with disability hope for their kids. We tried different sports, seeing what she liked, but the, <laughs> the only sport she really seemed to really enjoy a lot was the gymnastics, so we kind of focused on that one. Well, we never really had thought about modeling, and then we got an email saying, would your daughter be interested in doing a modeling job for a clothing company? And we said, well, she's never modeled, but it sounds fun. 
It's still extremely rare to see a model with a disability. She is unique, something that this industry has not seen before. She's challenging the norm, and I'm very proud that she's part of this.